Hi, this is Bernard from everyday-carry.com here with a video overview of a couple of pens in my EDC rotation. Uh, firstly, I'd like to note that these pens were sent to me for review by Brad, also known as the Pen Addict, um, from jetpens.com. So thanks to Brad and jetpens.com for giving me a chance to review these products for my readers. This is the Zebra Pen Pod Mini. It's a keychain pen, ballpoint, 0.7 millimeter. Uh, it's got a full plastic construction. That's kind of what I don't like about it here. It's all plastic, so it's lightweight, but I, I'm not confident in its durability. The hardware here at the attachment point looks nice and looks sturdy, but it can fail just because this thing is plastic. And another thing, this the mechanism to lock and activate is also held in by plastic by these notches here and a uh, plastic barrel with notches that fit in. It's kind of a hassle to operate, especially one-handed, upside down, suspended from your keychain. I've had several times uh, this pen shoots out because of the super strong spring inside and um, just trying to write with it, you're holding it and it pushes down and the spring kind of activates. So you have to hold it really close to the tip and the barrel is really thin and the weight is kind of off. It's a good backup option or just to keep on your keychain, but I would not recommend this pen as a uh, primary EDC pen just because it's not worth the trouble in my experience. Here's the pen that I'm more excited about. I was more impressed. This is the Pilot Birdie Stainless Steel Mini. Um, it's a ballpoint pen, 0.7 millimeters. It's uh, all stainless steel construction, so it's it's durable. I like that about an EDC pen. It's got a clip here that's pretty strong, um, which is surprising for its size, and it's got a clicky, which is great and smooth. Activation is is awesome. It's got a lot of things that I, I'm looking for in an EDC pen. Uh, firstly, it's compact, so this will fit in your back pocket or something really nicely next to your notebook. Um, and it's got a strong clip and it's quick to activate. And it's durable, so this is really nice. It's only $6 too. You should check it out if you're interested. It looks like you could keep it um, in a really minimalist EDC, something lightweight, or for girls who want to keep it in their purse or in their long wallet just to write something down or sign the receipt, something like that. My one gripe with it is that because it's really thin, it's a little bit uncomfortable to write with, and I have small hands as it is, so to say that this is sort of uncomfortable, you know, puts things in perspective. So keep that in mind, but otherwise this is a very strong pen, and I'm pretty impressed with it. This is the Uniball Power Tank Smart Series High Grade. This is a full-size pen, 0.7 ballpoint ink with a pressurized cartridge making it a, uh, an attractive alternative to Fisher Space Pens if people want a full-size body with um, a clip and a clicky. So the clip and the clicky are both pretty nice and it allows for a quick uh, retrieval and activation. One thing that I don't like about it is, is that the, the clicky kind of jiggles around a bit loosely, uh, but otherwise it feels great in hand. It's got a good ribbed finish here and a nice grip, but the finish it's not perfect here as I've got a few scratches, but it writes well. It's a good alternative for people, especially if they need to write in uh, harsher conditions. This is about $15, um, so take a look if you're interested. The last unit here for review is actually a mechanical pencil. This is the Roachring 600 mechanical drafting pencil. While it's got a lot of great qualities, uh, especially the build construction, the materials, um, the grip, the weight, the pocket clip, everything, it's just a really nice pencil, but um, these things, at the same time, make it something that I would not recommend for everyday carry. Despite its durability, um, it also adds weight to it because of the, the metal body. And one of the biggest disappointments I have with this pencil is that the, the tip here is exposed and there's no way of um, retracting it. So you can't protect it while it's in your pocket. Another thing that adds to the fact that I wouldn't pocket this is uh, it's kind of heavy and it's pretty long for a pencil, so if you can carry this uh, with you but not in your pocket, maybe in the bag or some way to keep this safe, it's a great pencil. It's um, $30, so really think if you need a pencil that's that expensive because there's a chance you can lose it. Otherwise, it's got a sturdy pocket clip, um, the knurling is great, and this hexagonal anti-roll mechanism combined with the clip, you know, it's just something you can keep on the desk. And the tail cap here with the signature red ring, you can rotate this here to choose your, your lead grade, sort of. It advances lead nicely. Um, it feels good. I really like this pencil. I just wish it was uh, more suited for, for pocket carry. Um, if you like this pencil but you're worried about the tip, you should look into the Roachrings.
800, I believe, which has a retractable tip as well as gold accents. So it's a little bit uh, more expensive, maybe double the price, if not more. For the full review, head on over to everyday-carry.com.